This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook. Emerald Culturals. These magic culturals dissolve into small puddles of acid when stepped on. Like normal culturals, emerald cap culturals are scattered on the ground to slow enemies. But the act of scattering them also activates their magic. One two pound bag covers an area five feet square. Each time a creature moves into an area covered by emerald culturals, make an attack roll with a plus one bonus using the rules of culturals found in chapter seven of the player's handbook. Any creature struck by the culturals takes an additional plus one point of damage and 1d6 points of acid damage. An emerald culturals turn to vapor one hour after being removed from their original container. Caster level four prerequisites Crap magic arms and armor. Melf's acid arrow. Market price 166 gold pieces. Cost to create 86 gold pieces plus 7 XP. Equestrians. Equestrians. Spear. The magical properties of this plus 2 long spear makes it suited for use on foot or on horseback. When used by a character on foot, the equestrians. Spear functions exactly like a long spear. When used by a mounted character, proficiency proficient with the heavy lance, the equestrian spear is treated in all respects as a heavy lance. Mounted characters not proficient in the heavy lance may still use the weapon as a long spear. Caster level 10 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor, phantom steed, polymorph, any object, market price 26,615 gold pieces, cost to create 13,615 gold pieces plus 1,040 XP. The Renthnal's Slaughter. This plus two unholy morning star is sacred to clerics of to clerics of Arithnal, the god of slaughter. Any clerk or any cleric holding the Arithnal's slaughter can prepare spells as if he had access to the ward domain in addition to his own other domains. Clerics who already have Access to the war domain gain no additional benefit. If for any reason the cleric loses possession of Arithnal's slaughter, all prepared spells from the war do domain are lost unless the cleric normally has access to that domain. Caster level 11. Prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. Creator must have access to war domain. Unholy light. Market price 72,308 gold pieces. Cost to create 36,308 gold pieces plus 2,880 gold or XP. Ethereal bolt. This plus one bolt. Once fired, flicker between the material plane and ethereal plane. These jumping between planes give the bolts a hazy, unsubstantial appearance. Appearance flickering between the planes gives the bolts several powers, although they provide no ability to see into the ethereal plane. The bolts themselves affect ethereal creatures normally. Furthermore, they can pass through solid objects. For each five feet of solid material the bolt passes through, there's a 50% chance that the bolt is on the material plane when it passes. Stopping the bolt and ending its flight, all attacks with ethereal bolt bolts have a 20% miss chance. The planar Flickering lasts only for one shot of the no, if recovered, the intact after being fired in ethereal bolt is thereafter treated as a normal plus one bolt. Caster level nine prerequisites. 
Craft Magic Arms and Armor. Blink. Market price 797 gold pieces. Cost to create 402 gold pieces plus 32 XP. Ever Burning Chain. On command, this plus 2 flaming spike chain turns into a column of fire. Like other flaming weapons, the fire does not harm the wielder. As a standard action, the wielder can sweep the chain around his head, spreading flame in a 10 foot radius. This attack deals 1d4 points of damage to creatures within the area of effect. Reflex half DC 13 and can cause flammable materials to ignite. Trip attacks made with the ever burning chain may ignite the target's clothing if it is flammable. Caster level 10 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor, burning hands, fireball. Market price, 22,725 gold pieces. Cost to create, 11,525 gold pieces. Plus, 896 XP. A arrow. <clears throat> this light slender plus one arrow has a small point in brightly colored fletching. On a successful hit, a pale glow surrounds the target. The glow functions exactly like the fairy fire spell from the fifth level caster. From a fifth level caster, preventing an outlined target from gaining the benefit of concealment caused by darkness, blur, displacement, and visibility for similar effects. Caster level fifth prerequisites craft magic arms and armor, fairy fire. Market price, 297 gold pieces, cost to create, 152 gold pieces, plus 12 XP. Fellstone, this plus 3 heavy pick is made entirely from stone, and its magical properties gives its wielder a great power over stone. Each creature struck with Fellstone must succeed on a fortified to save DC 13 or be days until the beginning of the wielder's next attack. Next action. Whenever both the wielder and her opponent are touching the ground, Hellstone grants a plus one bonus on attacks and damage. If an opponent is airborne or waterborne, the wielder takes a negative four penalty on attacks and damage. Furthermore, as long as the wielder is touching the ground, she can start a bull rush without provoking a, an attack on of opportunity. The combat modifiers given above for melee attacks also apply to the wielder's opposed strength check in attempting a bull rush. Caster level 12 prerequisites craft magic, arms and armor, stone shape, summon monster 6. Market price, 32308 Cost to create, 16308 Gold pieces, plus 12080 XP. Flail of Shadows. Made from forged blackened iron in darkwood, this plus two shadow strike heavy flail has a powerful bond with the plane of shadow. In addition to its shadow strike ability, the flail of shadows allows its wielder to, con to cast Dimension Door with a co command word as the spell from the 11th level caster, but the Dimension Door must originate and terminate in an area of shadow. Caster level 11 prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, Dimension Door, Shadow Conjunction, Shadow Walk, Market price, 48,155 gold pieces. Cost to create, 24,235 gold pieces, plus 1,914 XP. Flames, uh, Flames Shroud, Axe, made from an incredibly hard red metal, hardens 1530 HP. This plus three flaming battle axe can wrap its wielder in a protect protective shield of fire. Once per day, the flame shroud axe can produce effects similar to the fire shield spell. Chill version. An 11th level sorcerer. Activating the axe's file 
fire shield ability is a full round action that provokes an attack of opportunity. Caster level 13. Prerequisites. Craft magic arms and armor. Fireball. Fire shield. Market price. 51,510 gold pieces. Cost to create. 25,910 gold pieces. Plus 2,048 XP. Oh Reaver. This plus 2. Might. Leaving Sith. Sight can cut through foes three at a time. Drink extra attacks granted by the cleave gear for the sight's mighty cleaving ability. Its threat range is doubled. Bow Reaper is treated as a keen weapon for purposes of spells interacting with it, meaning it cannot be the target of keen edge or blessed weapon. Not, not, nor can it receive the vicious ability. Caster level 15. Prerequisite craft magic arms and armor. Divine power. Keen edge. Market price 32,318 gold pieces. Cost to create 16,318 gold pieces. Plus 1,280 XP. Force web. This plus 4. Net is made of pure magical force and hold even incorporeal creatures. A creature entangled in a force web can attempt to escape as a full round action. Escape artist check DC 20. The net has a hardness of 10 and 30 hit points and can be first with a DC 40 strength check at a full round action. Caster level 13 prerequisite craft magic arms and armor force force cage market price 723320 gold pieces cost to create 36320 gold pieces plus 2880 XP foretelling blade otherwise unadorned the pommel of this plus two long sword is carved to look like a large unblinking eye once per day the pos possessor of the foretelling sword may roll one die 20 once over the course of the ensuing day the wielder may choose to use the result of that roll instead of making an attack roll to use this ability the wielder must announce this choice before making the attack roll. For the chosen attack, the wielder simply uses the result of the earlier 1d20 roll as if that were his attack roll. Caster level 9 prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, augury, market price 18,315 gold pieces, cost to create 9,315 gold pieces plus 720 XP. Frost Shard Dagger. This completely trans translucent plus one dagger radiates cold and looks as if it is sculpted out of ice. Despite its appearance, the dagger is as resilient as normal steel until used to make a successful melee or ranged attack. The first successful attack made with a Frost Shard charred dagger causes it to explode in a burst of cold energy dealing 3d6 points of damage of cold damage to everyone within five feet of the target all creatures other than the original target may attempt to reflex save dc 17 to take half damage the frost shard dagger is destroyed after one successful attack caster level third prerequisite Craft magic arms and armor. Cone of cold. Market price 1,052 gold pieces. Cost to create 677 gold pieces plus 30 XP. Ghost hands. These roughly wrought iron gauntlets remain a dull dark gray regardless of how often they are polished. Despite their crude appearance, ghost hands are a surprisingly light pair of plus one gold touch. A ghost touch gauntlets 
while wearing ghost hands, the wielder is immune to the mage jar spell and a ghost malevolence ability. Ghost hands provide a plus one enhancement bonus on attack and damage rolls, but attacks with them are still considered unarmed for purposes of provoking attacks on opportunity. Caster level 9 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. Plain shift protection from evil. Market price eighteen thousand three hundred and two gold pieces. Cost to create nine thousand three hundred and two gold pieces plus seven hundred and twenty XP. Glaive of torment. This plus one wounding glaive gains additional power in the hands of a barbazu or any other creature with a natural wounding ability. Whenever such a creature wields their weapon, those struck by it are raked with pain, taking a negative 4 penalty on attack rows, skill checks, and ability checks for 3 rounds. A successful fortitude save DC 16 lessens the penalty to negative 2. Caster level 10 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor, bestow curse, more than cannons, sword, market price, 7,308 gold pieces, cost to create 37,308 gold pieces plus 2,960 XP. Gnome Steam Bow. Covered with levers and small repositories for alchemical fluids, the strung with a system of pulleys and strong with a system of pulleys. This plus one short bow offers several advantages. The wielder can choose from the following three options. Each repairing a move equivalent action, or each requiring a move equivalent action to activate. The wielder can remove any penalty on damage rolls from a low strength score for the next shot from the bow. The wielder can add his intelligence modifier to the attack roll for the next shot from the bow. Finally, the wielder can double the range increment of the bow by the next shot from it. None of these actions provokes an attack of opportunity if the wielder spends the time. It's possible to set up a shot that benefits from all three abilities. Caster level 8 prerequisites. Craft magic arms and armor. Full strength. Clear audience slash clairvoyance. True strike. Mark market price. 18,530 gold pieces, cost to create 9,430 gold pieces plus 728 XP. Gnome's Toolkit, covered in hooks, small sliding compartments, and tiny nooks, perfect for potion piles. This plus two by crossbow and hold several small items. The Gnome's Toolkit stores a set of masterwork lockpicks, a magnified glass, and a small silver mirror. These items are magically bonded to the crossbow, and they disappear if taken more than 20 feet from it. Items removed like this reappear within the crossbow after one minute. The Gnome Toolkit can also hold up to six more small items such as keys or potion vials. No item stored in the crossbow can be more than two inches long or weigh more than six ounces. Additional stored items do not become bounded to the crossbow and function normally if removed. While holding a gnome's toolkit, the wielder can retrieve any item stored in the crossbow as a free action. Caster level 11 prerequisites craft magic or craft magic arms and armor. Lumen's secret chest market price 10,335 gold pieces. Cost to create 5,335 gold pieces plus 400 XP. Grasping the dagger. In addition to its main blade, this plus three keen hunting dagger has two large barbs that project from the dagger's hilt. On a successful critical hit, these barbs can hook into the target's flesh, holding it fast. 
After a successful critical hit, the wielder may make a grapple attempt as a free action. If successful, the target is hooked on the dagger's barbs while grappling in this manner. The wielder, the wielder can attack with a grasping dagger normally. Caster level 10, prerequisites, crap magic arms and armor, gold person, keen edge, market price, 50,302 gold pieces, cost to create, 25,302 gold pieces, plus 2,000 XP, gray snare, the rubbery gray stands of this plus one net are tightly woven and give off a tangy as acidic scent. Although the gray snare lacks the hooks of other combat nets, its sticky strands are just as hard to escape. Once per day, on command, the net transforms into a gray ooze. If the net transforms while it tangles a target, the ooze is considered to have grapple and to have grappled the target. The transformation takes a full round and once complete, the ooze acts on the wielder's initiative. The wielder has no special ability to control the ooze but can transform it back into a net with a command word. See the ooze entry in the monster manual for more information on the great ooze. If killed while in ooze form, the net is destroyed. Caster level 10 prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, summon monster 4, market price 74,320 gold pieces, cost to create 37,320 gold pieces, plus 2,960 XP, Rumps revenge, Rumps revenge. This plus three long, long spear is greatly prized by clerics of Brunish. Brunish. The wielder of Brunish Revenge can take a standard action and expand a rebuke undead attempt to imbue the spear, spear with divine power. If the next successful attack with the long spear hits an elf, the spear deals an additional 1d6 points of fine damage per point of the wielder. Wielder's charisma bonus minimum 1d6. Caster level 13, prerequisites, crap, magic arms and armor, creator must be an evil humanoid with the ability to rebuke undead, unholy blight, market price. 50,305 gold pieces, cost to create 25,305 gold pieces, plus 2,000 XP. Guardian Bow, the magical properties imbued in this plus 2 might, mighty plus 3 composite long bow protects its wielder when enemies are near. The Guardian Bow provokes an attack of opportunity only from the target of its attack. If someone fires the guardian bow while surrounded by enemies, only the foe shot at may take an attack of opportunity, even if other opponents threaten the archer. Caster level 14 prerequisites magic arms and armor, shield, market price, 50,700 gold pieces, cost to create, 25,700 gold pieces, plus 2,000 XP, gorilla spear, this plus two short spear is extremely effective when used in ambush. Whenever the wielder makes a successful attack against an opponent who is denied his dexterity bonus to armor class, the gorilla spear deals an additional 2d6 points of damage. Caster level 7 prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, Visibility, market price, 32,302 gold pieces, cost to create, 60,302 gold pieces, plus 1,280 XP. Disarming of Long Falls. 
the curved blade at the end of this plus two, Gasarmi is hooked even more than that of a normal Gasarmi and can cause particularly jarring falls. Whenever the wielder uses the Gasarmi of Long Falls to make a successful trip attempt, the target must succeed on a Fortitude save DC 16 or be stunned for one round. Caster level 11 prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, telekinesis, market price 18,309 gold pieces, cost to create 9,309 gold pieces plus 720 XP, halberd of bolting. This plus two halberd allows its wielder to make a powerful leaping attack. The halberd of bolting gives its wielder a plus 30 bonus on jump checks and removes the usual maximum for jumping distance. Whenever the wielder takes the charge action, she may attempt a bolting charge. If the wielder can make a running high jump at least five feet high during the charge. The charge attack deals double damage. To make a vaulting charge, the wielder must have a clear path through the air to the target in an area with a low ceiling or overhanging obst obstructions. A vaulting charge might not be possible. Caster level 11 prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, jump market price 20,310 gold pieces, cost to create 10,310 and gold pieces plus 800 HP. Halflings exit. These plus two sling bullets provide a ready cover for those needing a quick escape and are often carried by rogues in case such situations arise. These gray sling bullets seem filled with swirls of thick black fog and their surface broils with constant motion. On a successful hit, the bullet releases a billowing cloud of fog that fills a 30-foot radius with a fog cloud. As the spell from a 6-level caster, the fog lasts for one hour, although it can be dispersed by strong wind. The cloud blocks all sight, including dark vision, beyond 5 feet. A creature within 5 feet has one half concealment, 20% mischance. Creatures farther away have total concealment, 50% miss chance, and the attacker can't use sight to locate the target. Each halfling exit, half, each halfling's exit creates fog only once. Bullets recovered interact are there after plus two sling bullets. Caster level six prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor. Raider must be a halfling fog cloud. Market price 247 gold pieces. Cost to cat to create 127 gold pieces plus 10 XP. Hammer of the mage this plus one war hammer is useful when creating other magic weapons. When used in the forging of another magical weapon, the hammer of the mage smith reduces the cost of the raw material that must be supplied by 5%. This reduction applies only to the gold piece cost of materials, not the XP required. In addition, once per day, the hammer of the mage smith can imbue another weapon with temporary magic powers. This works exactly like the mage weapon spell from a 10th level caster, including the requirement that the hammer of mage smith touch its target. Caster level 10 prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, magic weapon, market price, 45,912 gold pieces, cost to create, 23,112 gold pieces, plus 1,824 gold pieces are experienced. Hammer of Sacrifice 
heavier than other weapons of its type. This plus two warhammer weighs 16 pounds and is made entirely from a single piece of black iron ore. At the beginning of each round, the wielder of the hammer of sacrifice can sacrifice up to five hit points. Hit points sacrificed in this matter are then added to the damage of each successful attack made with the hammer until the beginning of the following round. Hit points sacrificed to the hammer are treated as normal damage to the will. Caster level 9. Prerequisite craft magical arms and armor. Empiric touch. Market price 32,312 gold pieces. Cost to create 16,312 gold pieces. Plus 1,280 XP. Hand of Heronios. Her Hand of Hieronius. This plus three long sword is greatly prized by Pelag Paladins and the cl and clerics of Heronius. The wielder of the hand of Heronius can take a standard action and expend a turn undead attempt to imbue the sword with a divine power. In the next successful attack by the sword hits an undead target, the sword deals an additional 1d6 points of divine damage from each point of the wielder's charisma bonus. Minimum 1d6. Caster level 13. Prerequisites. Craft magic arms and armor. Creator must have the turn undead ability. Creator must be good. Divine power. Searing light. Market price. 50,315 gold pieces to create or cost to create 25,315 gold pieces plus 2,000 XP. Habit Blade. This plus three king chaotic great axe is a powerful weapon of disorder. In addition to its other properties, a Havoc Blade causes confusion as the spell from a 5th level caster with a successful critical hit. The target is allowed a will save DC 19 to avoid the confusion effect. A target who fails the will save is confused for 5 rounds and ungainingly ungainly looking weapon at best a havoc blade is a swirl of three different metals apparently only partly blended the shaft is also slightly twisted as if warped by long exposure although it can still be wielded without penalty caster level 15 three requisites craft magic arms and armor chaos Hammer, Confusion, Keen, Edge, Greater Must Be Chaotic, Market Price, 98,320 gold pieces, Cost to Create, 49,320 gold pieces, plus 3,920 XP. Ice Tower, the blades carved from the pale claws of an ancient white dragon, this plus two frost great axe, radiates cold. The area within 5 feet of an ice talon is always 10 degrees cooler than the amb ambient temperature. Even without the aura of cold, an ice talon's, an ice talon's frosty nature is evident from its appearance. The pale dragon claws sit atop a half of magically straightened ivory, making the entire weapon an eerie shade of white. An ice talon grants its wielder the ability to withstand cold as the endure elements cold spell from a 10th level caster. In addition, the wielder, the wielder's movement is never reduced due to snow or ice and she never needs to make a balance check to keep her footing on ice. Although it is made from ivory and ice talon, and ice talon has a hardness of 15 and 20 points due to its magical reinforcement. Caster level 10th prerequisites, craft mage arms and armor, 
cone of cold market price 24,320 gold pieces cost to create 12,320 gold pieces plus 960 HP incandescent sword this plus four holy great sword glows with a bright light a 30 foot radius equivalent to a sunrise to a sunrise when it is held by a character of chaotic good line it is the preferred weapon of Gaily Elegant Eladrins, caster level 12, prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, fully smite, fight creator, must be a chaotic good. Market price 72,400 gold pieces, cost to create 36,375 gold pieces, plus 2,800. 82 XP. This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook, Roger Hansen on Patreon, and Gaming with Infamous on Discord. Thanks for stopping by. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Anchor. Breaker. Overcast. Pocket Casts. Radio Public. Spotify. Support us on Patreon, and check us out on Discord. All the links can be found in the video description below. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like.